So you're coming to South Africa on holiday and there are two things you just have to do. Number one, you have to visit Cape Town and see Table Mountain. And number two, you have to go on an African Big Five Safari. I'm sure an African Safari is on your bucket list and is a big dream of yours. But did you know you don't have to go all the way to Kruger National Park just to see the Big Five? There are Big Five reserves right here near Cape Town. And today we are showing you the best one on the garden route. Welcome to Garden Route Safari Lodge. This lodge is just a three and a half hour drive from Cape Town through the beautiful canola fields of the Western Cape. Rent a car and just enjoy this scenic drive. We also suggest you explore the entire garden route after spending a night or two at the game lodge. The garden route is one of the most beautiful and abundant parts of South Africa and there are tons of fun adventurous things to do along this famous road trip route. We've just checked in, we've had our welcome drinks, we've been shown around, and now it's time to show you our room. It looks like a small little hut, but it's got so much, it's actually very big. Anyway, stop talking, let's go. Welcome to our little sanctuary in the African bush. So as we get in, we're greeted with this little kitchen. It's got so much actually. We've got a coffee machine, kettle, some cups, all sorts of glasses. We've got water, tea, coffee, sugar, milk, coffee pods all given to us. We've got wines and snacks. We've got a little mini bar, which is packed full of goodies. We've got savannas, castle lights, mini, mini whiskies and mini amarulas some sodas, champagne, chocolate. All of that is not included in the room rate. You have to pay extra for that, but all this is complimentary on the top. And we've got a hairdryer, a little mirror to do your makeup. They have given us a little welcome note as well as the weather for the next few days while we're here. It helps you plan what you have to wear, which is really helpful. Anyway, let's continue. We've got a safe to put your valuables in. We've got beautiful robes and little slippers. We've got umbrellas in case it rains, which I doubt it will. We've got a big blankie because it does get cold in winter. And then on the other side, we've got a little toilet and sink in here separated. Which should we do, the room or should we do the bathroom? Mm, let's start with my favorite actually. Let's do the bathroom. Yeah, it's so cute. Whee! Look at this bathroom guys and look at the views. Oh my gosh, this actually looks like a painting right here. We've got a bath, they've given us bath salts and soap. We've got towels, we've got a double sinkaroo, we've got shampoo, conditioner, body lotion. And then we've also got a little patio going on here. Guys, they don't skimp on the views, like there's just views everywhere. And we also love that this bathroom opens up to the bedroom as well with shutters. So you can see those views too in case there's a giraffe or something standing there, it's so cool. <laughs> Let's go outside. If one bath and one shower is not enough for you, You've got two of each, don't worry. Ta-da! Look at this gorgeous bathtub in nature, open to the elements as well as a shower. And we've got little lamps for the evening if you wanna have a peaceful bath or shower outdoors in nature. Let's go show you the bed, actually. We haven't even shown you the actual part of the room that matters most. Ta-da! We've got a very big king size bed here. Amazing linen. I love the decor in this whole place. It's really stunning. We've got a fireplace here. So if it does get cold, you can put the fire on if you want. We've got a TV, a little seat here. And then of course, this beautiful balcony overlooking the entire reserve. With some seats so you can have your morning coffee. And guys, we have views of the watering hole where the animals come and drink water. And speaking of animals, why don't we go on a game drive and go see them right now? Let's go. <laughs> Just a bit of info for our foreign friends. In South Africa, we call a safari a game drive. Game meaning wild animals, drive meaning drive. Wild animals do not just roam around Africa freely, they have to be in a game lodge for protection against humans. During our time here, we'll be doing four game drives and obviously the ultimate goal is to see all five of the big five. 
While this is a private game reserve, it is still very wild and you can never control the animals, so there's no guarantee that we'll see all of them. In fact, it's so hard to see them all that Rhett and I, during all the years of living in South Africa, have never seen a leopard. So guys, take a moment to pray to the African gods for us. Hopefully we get to see a leopard. This would be the best moment ever if we could see one. Anyway, let's go. Two minutes in and we've already seen one of the big five. Elephants are the biggest and most intimidating land mammals in the world and here we just drove right up to them. After a few minutes of watching these beautiful creatures digging up roots out of the ground with their trunks, this curious boy came right up to our vehicle and touched the guide's hands. It was so intense, you can't even comprehend how big and dangerous these animals are. Luckily for us, these two boys love humans. Guys, I've literally never been that close to an elephant in my whole life. I cannot tell you, I was holding my breath, I was so nervous. I was like, <gasps> I can't breathe around the elephants. <laughs> but already, like one minute into the drive, we've seen one out of the big five. What an awesome encounter. Now we're about to see Oryx. Oh my goodness. And they're right in front of us. Native to Africa and the Arabian Peninsula and the national animal of Namibia and Qatar. Here in South Africa, we call them Gemsbok. These animals are known to survive for several weeks without drinking water and can obtain all the moisture they need to survive through the plants that they eat. There's water back over there and we've already spotted a second of the big five. There's rhinos down there. They're my favorite animal in Africa. So far, we had only been five minutes into our drive and boom, two out of the big five and my favorite African animal, the rhinoceros. There are only 27,000 rhinos left in the wild, down from 500,000 less than a century ago. They're slowly going extinct due to the illegal hunting of their horns. Some communities in the world believe that rhino horns are great symbols of wealth and great aphrodisiacs. Shocking. We're so close. This is insane. Boop. <laughs> There's one rhino in particular here, an interesting fellow called Tim. Tim hates everyone and everything. Our driver specifically avoids him. He torments the other animals, stalks vehicles, and next minute he started charging and bashing into the ground with his horn. Tim is trying to come at us. Look at him, there's the issues. <laughs> He's cheeky. Turns out it was just him being aggressive and asserting his power over a bunch of male rhinos over the horizon. It wasn't us. Here's a fact about rhinos I bet you didn't know. They curl their tails like this when they're agitated. How cute. As we drove around this weird display of toxic masculinity, we had the best sighting of our whole trip. Something so incredibly special considering the current reality of rhino horn poaching, we saw a baby rhino only one week old. This bubba is a symbol of hope for all rhinos. The more baby rhinos, the better chance of rhinos not becoming extinct one day. And of course, giving our children a chance to be able to see these special creatures in the future. You won't believe who the father of this cutie is though. Tim! Grumpy Mr. Hates Everyone and Everything Tim. 
<laughs> Mom won't allow him around the baby though. He has to keep his distance. Rightly so though. I literally cannot stop smiling. Like my cheeks are actually hurting. I might cry even. We just saw a baby rhino. And it's a week old. And its name is Hammy. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so incredible. It took a bit of searching. Not surprisingly though, these beautiful cats are actually quite hard to find in this landscape. But we finally found this lone female cheetah. Cheetahs are quite solitary and only come together to mate. Female cheetahs will often raise their cubs on their own. Unfortunately though, this one doesn't have any right now. This girl is wearing a collar which helps the game lodge keep track of her, making sure she always stays within the park's borders and doesn't decide to go hunting the sheep next door. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite parts of a game drive besides seeing all the amazing animals is sometimes you get the opportunity to have a bit of a picnic out in nature. It is so beautiful, so quiet, watching the sunset go down right now. We've got some alcoholic beverages, some burros and some chips and good company. It is so beautiful. <laughs> I swear every single time you go on a safari, as soon as it gets dark, it gets cold, guys. Even in summer, it gets cold. So they always have ponchos, don't be afraid to ask for them because they're so cozy and nice and warm. And obviously because you're in an open moving vehicle, it's a lot colder as well. The wind blows, the eyes start watering. There's lots of mickeys and flies and mosquitoes at night time because they love it when the sun goes down. But this is Africa, welcome to Africa. <laughs> Thankfully, waiting for us back at the camp was a huge bonfire to help us warm up and some hot towels for our hands. How sweet, they give you hot, hot towels after a game drive. Yee, it's so nice and warm. <laughs> Time to cook some marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Now this is bringing back some serious childhood memories, eh? <laughs> oh no, what did you do? I burnt him. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> The setting of this restaurant is stunning. The restaurant is set in this amazing longhouse kept warm by roaring fireplaces. The menu is set with up to five different main meals to choose from. We went with soup to start, a sirloin steak and some baklava. The food was absolutely delicious. Good morning, it is 7 a.m. and it's time for our first morning game drive. Today is hopefully big cat day, so let's go see some big cats. It's a very cold morning, it's super misty and so obviously you have to dress really really warm. Most mornings are very cold in the bush. Pack something for your ears guys, this is something I missed because <laughs> the wind chill is quite cold on the ears. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Wait, hold on, be right back. These Cape buffalo are considered one of the most dangerous animals in Africa due to their unpredictable behavior and aggression. They have a steely glare and give no warning signs before they stampede. Making matters more precarious for us is the fact that these three old bulls were recently kicked out of the herd. Confronting a herd of buffalo is far safer than coming face to face with a group of grouchy old bulls. Because these guys no longer have the safety of the herd, they tend to be a lot more aggressive. Yay! Hippopotamuses! 
Also a very dangerous animal. Yeah, actually I'm very scared of hippos. Yeah. There's a good chance you can just run out of the water and charge us. Yeah. Hippo was a shy girl. She only showed us her nostrils and then as soon as we drove off into the distance we looked back and there's her whole head out. <laughs> I now want to see Mufasa place. There's a big boy. Oh. As we pulled up to this pride of lines, this big male made us fully aware that he's not a morning person and gave us a little growl. You may be thinking, wow, he's a gorgeous boy. Well, yeah, our guide told us that this old boy is so beautiful that Oxford University came to study his genetics. He's definitely the Leonardo DiCaprio of lions, still good looking as ever, but now he spends his days just chilling, surrounded by the ladies. What a G. Okay, so we've seen four out of the big five. Uh, no leopards yet, no signs of them either, but we are starving, we need coffee, we're half asleep still freezing as well <laughs> so it's time for breakfast breakfast in this amazing setting with a view of the animals in the distance what a way to spend a morning basically everything is available on the menu from pastries and preserves to eggs benedict and mousse. Mm -hmm. so we just finished up breakfast and yes like it was really delicious i got the big five breakfast in celebration of almost seeing the big five <laughs> we've only done two game drives we've been here for less than 24 hours and we've nearly seen all the big five that is so cool it feels like you're just guaranteed the views here at garden root game lodge because we've just seen it all incredible sightings like i still can't get over the fact that we saw a baby rhino yesterday so if you do the overnight experience this is kind of where your experience ends this is 10 o'clock you check out of your unit but you're more than welcome to stay use the pool go to the spa you can even do a walking safari here if you want or just what we recommend just sit here on the patio and take in the views and the sounds of nature because that's when you really learn to appreciate the African bush is when you sit still and listen and observe and if you come check in it to the previous day you do game drives you have dinner you go to sleep you wake up you do game drives you don't have a lot of time to just sit and take it in so we if you can recommend doing two nights like we are one night is perfect as I said before though because you've seen so much already up until this point but yeah we're gonna take it easy now take in nature and yeah. Don't know what's next. <laughs> we finished breakfast and it's actually turned into an absolute scorcher of a day today. Although it was super misty and rainy, or a little bit rainy in the beginning, it is now time to head to the swimming pool. It is definitely needed. Old Clary behind is super hot at the moment. So as you know, we're staying in the luxury suite, but there are various types of rooms all over. There are the chalets behind me. I think you can see them. There are standard rooms right by the swimming pool which are quite nice. So it's up to you what room you would like and this is a family friendly lodge so you can bring your kids even if they are under six years old. They are more than welcome. There's a kiddie play area as well and then there's the pool that we are so excited to see of course and then after the pool we will show you the spa because that is a very very cute little building and we need to make the most of our time in the bush with getting a massage. <laughs> had the lazy hippo massage half an hour 450 rand absolutely worth it so fantastic now it's time for our third game drive and let's see if we can spot a leopard and also maybe some giraffe we're headed into a different part of the park today passing through some completely untouched pieces of land 
Some of this vegetation here has been this way for thousands of years. Our guy Thomas just said that the Cape Mountain Leopard loves to hang around here because it's such a cave area and untouched, so... <laughs> Please, I hope you see a leopard. We stopped to check some tracks, but unfortunately they were not from a leopard. We did see this lone giraffe climbing up a hill though. Time for one last drinks break in the bush before heading back to camp. Well guys, it's our last morning and it's time to leave. <laughs> I'm so devastated. We're always so upset and gutted to leave the African bush because it's so incredibly peaceful and so good for our mental health. So this morning we opted out of the game drive just to enjoy our suite. Clary had a lovely bubble bath and we just watched the animals wake up in the fields in front of us. It was absolutely awesome. Apparently we missed out on a couple of cool sightings this morning. There were two brother cheetahs playing around but we are so satisfied with what we saw and so happy even though we didn't see a leopard because it's always just like a 1% chance of seeing a leopard anyway. So we're so happy with our time here and we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's time to head back to Cape Town now and carry on working on our 15 things to do in Cape Town part 2 video. We will link it in the description and up above when it is ready for you guys. Thank you Garden Root Game Lodge for having us. We had an awesome time and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye. It's going to take a life to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred man elephant. <laughs> I bless the rains down in Africa.